एक्सक्यूज मी हाँ जी आई गुड इवनिंग मैम गुड इवनिंग सर यस मैम आई एम ग्रेट मैम थैंक यू मैम वेर आर यू कमिंग फ्रॉम अनदर मॉक यस मैम आप दूसरे मॉक में गए थे ना यस मैम और क्या नाम था वो मॉक का वाजी रामन रेड्डी मैम बगल में है तो उन्होंने आपको क्या बोला आई यू इंग्लिश और इन हिंदी इंग्लिश मैम इंग्लिश ओके वट डिज दैट टेल यू हाउ वॉज योर ओवरऑल परफॉर्मेंस मैम इट वॉज गुड मैम इट वॉज गुड वट इज दार्क्स दे गे मार्क दिया होगा ना हाँ यस मैम तो क्या दिया सेवेंटी मैम सेवेंटी परसेंट सेवेंटी परसेंट तो यू आर एन इंजीनियर ऑल्सो यस मैम सो देर इज अट वेव इन इंडिया एट प्रेजेंट आई एम टोल्ड द टेम्परेचर विल गो टू फोर्टी सिक्स समथिंग टूमोरो so what to do about it because a lot of people who live on the road they live in the streets so things are not so happy with them they don't have a proper house so what would you do for them ma'am when we take the natural uh, tree shade yeah. it it gives a, a cool feeling ma'am okay so we have to promote the greenery in and around us Green, okay. Green, good. That is a simple solution, and okay. also uh, we can provide uh, the basic facilities like water and if there any butter, milk, such yes, things yeah. that can uh, right. reduce. Right. Or even toilets, they don't have anything. Yes, ma'am. They live the, on the road. If you see, so the mobile toilets will help. Yeah, it will help. So uh, tell me, there are these coal stocks which is being talked about. Coal, C O A L, coal. so now one minister told me i mean said it on tv that we have enough coal stock don't panic we can manage and the newspaper every day says that the stocks are going down the railway won't run etc so do you think one side is the reality or the other side what is real ma'am uh, i'm not aware of the exact numbers ma'am okay. but we have a coal shortage at present uh, because the demand is increasing day by day as we are facing that heat wave and also uh, the economy is reviving okay. gradually mm -hmm. so we need a large amount of energy for our needs uh, whether it is a domestic needs or industrial needs right. we need a large amount of electrical energy mm -hmm. so and we also largely depend on the thermal energy for that so there is a increase in demand and uh, the coal stocks are limited, limited. so and we that's have always to, the case mostly Yes, Mostly they are limited. <clears throat> Tell me, do we use nuclear energy in India? Yes, ma'am. Hmm. We use nuclear energy. The installed capacity is around seven uh, gigawatt. Seven. Yes. Okay. So uh, there are many countries which use nuclear energy. How far are we from them? How far behind? Ma'am, um, uh, like uh, countries like Japan, Russia. they are uh, using in a larger scale right uh, well compared to these developed countries we are lagging behind but uh, there are few apprehensions also behind the uses of nuclear energy mm. for example uh, the nuclear waste disposal we have we don't have a, a proper mechanism for that and but there is, uh, their governments push for the nuclear energy is also there and they are trying to establish the new nuclear power plants and also extend the present nuclear power plants right <laughs> so uh, we are we are talking of you know medical waste yes now we are talking of medical waste so medical waste you know you go to hospitals anywhere clinics a lot of open you know disposal of injections or vials or whatever so how to control that because there is a law on it that you should not dispose it just like that yes suppose a person has aids no. then You are throwing stuff around, you know, the cotton, the needles, which is not good. So, what would you suggest? How to regulate it? Ma'am, uh, that change should come at the uh, segregation stage itself. When we get uh, that waste, we have to segregate in it into the different parts. For example, I'm not sure about it, but in the medical terminology, there are color codes for the different uh, medical waste, ma'am. Right. so they have to uh, segregate it in the first proper. stage itself and also after that proper uh, handling mechanism should be there and also proper disposal mechanism should be there like you know even for covid the at least wherever i live 
there are regulations that suppose anybody in that area has COVID or a family has. So, you are supposed to segregate the waste from the COVID person, you know, like a towel or anything. And you are supposed to segregate it with the other person who is normal. And when you dispose, suppose there is a green colored, you know, plastic, then you dispose the COVID patient's waste only in that. Mm. And the rest in the rest. So, they try to maintain some sort of a proper disposal of garbage, yes, right? Sir. Right, sir. A few out of uh, the few candidates who offered mathematics yes. as optional. So, what all information you collected or you offered the subject without any information base, uh, what information was there so that you zeroed in to mathematics? Zero what sir? I mean, how did you arrive at that mathematics is the best optional paper for you and not any other subject, say electrical engineering. Sir, uh, hmm. as you mentioned, electrical engineering my uh, graduation subject, sir. Mm -hmm. So, I have taken the option uh, of uh, taking this electrical engineering also. But mm -hmm. uh, when I saw the syllabus of electrical engineering, mm -hmm. I saw a few parties uh, was not covered in my curriculum. Mm -hmm. And also, uh, the availability of the material is also more in terms of mathematics. And also, mm -hmm. I have a genuine interest in mathematics mm -hmm. because I can do mathematics in a, at a long stretch without boring. Mm -hmm. That's why I have chosen mathematics. Okay. What are other advantages of taking mathematics? As an optional subject? Yes. Not in life, I mean, as an optional subject. Because uh, this uh, mathematics give uh, edge over the other uh, Humanity is optional in terms of marking, sir. Mm -hmm. Because if I get a full uh, correct answer, they will they allow a uh, full mark. Yes, sir. one good point about mathematics is you don't need much revision. Yes, revision sir, is not. I beg to refer on that because oh, the, so? the, the new, is, new techniques come or what in the what in the mathematics? Do you get new techniques, new ideas, new opinions, new philosophy in mathematics? While practicing it, sir, or no, no, as an optional paper. Suppose there is a paper of sociology, some uh, some opinion comes, some some new ideas come. Yes. Hmm. You revise it upwards. Yes, sir, there is it is static also. Hmm. Uh, I mean, so syllabus is static. static. There is you no know? need of a uh, extra revision like the current affairs part. Yes, hmm. it's not current affair type of thing. Yes. Okay, now. Electric vehicle is not yet popular in India. What are the basic reasons for it? Uh, sir, uh, first thing is like it is a cost, sir. The mm -hmm. electrical vehicle's cost is uh, higher than the normal internal combustion vehicles. Mm -hmm. This is the one factor. And also they are uh, less, are, they are now coming, the indigenous uh, companies are mm -hmm. coming now. Mm -hmm. uh, we do not have a technology base in order to produce in a large scale mm -hmm. and also there are issues in uh, instances in the news where these electrical vehicles catching fire during mm -hmm. the summer days. Mm -hmm. This is also one of the mm -hmm. cause of concern. I think non availability of charging point is very important. Yes sir, that is also one of If the I points. wish, I suppose uh, I wish to have a vehicle which I go from uh, say here to another 400 kilometer then I think there will be an issue of charging. Yes, sir. Because we are lacking charging infrastructure. Charging station, charging infrastructure. <laughs> and in the long run, even repair yes. infrastructure is not there. Yes. If your vehicle goes out of order, you are not able to fathom out what has happened, perhaps you get it towed back 400 kilometers. So, those are the basic issues. Uh, as electrical engineering, I, I engineer, I want your suggestion. Suppose, instead of having a direct uh, hooking into the electrical system, can I have a non-contact charging for electrical vehicle? It will it will facilitate if non-contact charging is possible. Is it yes, possible? Yes, sir. Uh, sir, for a larger, uh, so smaller power applications, it can mm -hmm. be possible. For example, we are seeing in uh, mobile phones and also the uh, smart gadgets, there are wireless charging is present. Mm -hmm. But in order to transmit the large amount of power without wires, it is uh, difficult. Electrical vehicles, but it can be possible as a Tesla uh, pointed out this uh, novel method of uh, wireless charging. 
but mm-hmm. it is still in the research and development stage mm-hmm. which particular phenomenon will be used for wireless charging that uh, that is electromagnetic induction induction yes induction will be charged ad currents will be used. yes okay yes sir mm-hmm. or pandu or wilson sir uh, may i correct the pronunciation sir that is pandu wilson sir okay no pandu I, I address and the wilson is my so i will first name. i will address you as wilson right yes so wilson you are from andhra pradesh yes and probably kakinada is a coastal district yes sir. and there are many coastal districts you know so tell me with andhra as a coastal state what are the opportunities uh, available to the state and what are the threats coming to the opportunities we have a long coastline of 970 kilometers so we have uh, uh, this natural ports also present for example visakhapatnam is a natural port so that we can have a large scale trade uh, with the uh, south asian countries which are well for their uh, trade activities well known for their trade activities and also other opportunities like uh, can, uh, our state andhra pradesh is uh, doing good in terms of marine culture uh, for example fish and shrimps production we are the number one in the entire india so that is also one of the potential and we have the natural resources for example the mangroves uh, which can be utilized as a uh, natural re- recycling of the ground water and also livelihood of the local people such natural resources are present but coming to the uh, threats it is more cyclopron areas because uh, a large part is touching the bay of bengal so and uh, the cyclones uh, uh, direction is from the west to east east to west so that mainly the cyclones landfall occurring in our state and also there are threats from the tsunami also as we have witnessed the 2005 tsunami some of the parts has been uh, had been affected good okay my uh, now i shift uh, switch over to your electrical engineering line so uh, wilson government has given a huge amount of money recently to the power discoms distribution companies of many states now does it mean that the power sector reform wherein these discoms and transcos and you know they were created uh, has failed sir uh, as you mentioned there is a lot of uh, injection of money into those sectors in order to revive them for example the udai scheme but sir problem occurring because uh, com- uh, governments are taking the welfare measures like they are uh, giving up the electricity freely to sub- farmers and also some sectors so this problem of uh, debt debt trap is still present in the discoms so in order to avoid such situation we can uh, restructure the discoms and also we can uh, take the private players into the these discoms so they can offer uh, this electricity in a competitive manner for example we are using the telecommunication uh, the mobile networks uh, there are many private players involving in this so customers are have a choice to choose uh, which operator they can uh, use the service their services in the same manner there is a proposal of uh, this entering of the private players into these discoms so that consumers have a choice a better choice uh, in terms of electricity okay uh, wilson i come to the economy of our country so after the ukraine war started my statement is that economic <laughs> challenges of india have become much more severe than what they were post covid but pre ukraine war so what are the economic challenges that we are facing today sir i uh, mean like effects of ukraine war on indian economy or uh, in a obviously before the before ukraine war started and now with ukraine war the economic challenges have become more severe so indirectly directly i mean it means the same thing that what has the war what economic challenges has the war created for us sir uh, one thing coming to my mind is uh, disruption of the supply chain sir we are 
in the globalized world we are importing many things uh, from the western countries and also the middle east countries so during the war uh, supply chain is largely disrupted and the uh, goods we are getting is delayed sir their delivery delayed for example i have recently read about the one day for example you go on next that is one disruption ah, yes. what is the next and also the crude oil prices has been enormously raised because of this uh, ukraine crisis so that has impacted our economy at very large scale and the inflation is uh, rising more than 6% the cpi is mm -hmm. consumer price so when the inflation rises what is the uh, tool available with the reserve bank of india to set it right or you think it's it's incorrigible sir rbi has this tool called repo rate sir so in order to control the inflation they will in, they can increase the repo rates so that the money supply in the market can be reduced so the inflation can be controlled do you think it's time that repo rate was revised it is a very critical situation because rbi wants to revive the economy so that they can keep the uh, repo rate at a lower level so that economy can revive because of the post pandem pandemic scenario but uh, this uh, inflation uh, causing a back effect backlash effect for that measures so it is in a like very critical situation which measure they have to take uh, in order to control it okay my last question wilson why everyone is rushing to india to sign free trade agreements sir uh, in you my seen in the past yes sir in my limited knowledge like uh, india taken a neutral stand in the present crisis and there is a huge potential in the in terms of indian economy because we are the large consumer base and we also have a uh, workforce more than any other country so we have a potential of uh, uh, trade also recently we have achieved this 400 billion dollars uh, trade targets so there are more prospects in india so that's why we are attracting the other countries in order to uh, make the free trade agreements no i did not understand the last point that we have exported more so there should be ftas is it in their interest or is it in our interest sir it is a, like both uh, both countries benefit from these trades sir so if uh, like if, if our uh, exports are increasing if they ease our uh, duties on our exports so both the countries will benefit we can send more amount of goods to the other countries and uh, we get the more profits from that okay. thank you wilson okay sir good evening sir okay. uh, can you tell about the impact of political and constitutional crisis of in pakistan on india sir recently the uh, government has been changed due to no contest motion passed by the pakistan assembly uh, with that regime change Uh, there may be a uh, new set of dialogue between the both countries may happen sir Th that will be in the long term i'm not uh, aware of the present uh, conditions no issues okay. we are seeing economic crisis in sri lanka also so can you tell about the main reasons and long term solutions uh, sir like main reasons are Uh, first they have taken the loans which which are not sustainable in nature so they have entered into a kind of debt trap situation and other thing is like uh, the their tourism sector is largely impacted due to the covid the travel restrictions along with the uh, that easter attacks that has occurred and sir they have entered into this organic farming regime without a uh, farmers capacity building they have uh, suddenly shifted to the organic farm, farming by banning the imports of the chemical fertilizers so that has largely reduced their agricultural productivity so these are these are all factors cumulatively affected uh, their economic crisis okay why andhra and telangana remain unable to resolve their issues resulting out of bifurcation even after 8 years there are issues are as you suggested we have facing uh, what water sharing issues are there and also there are many assets which are not bifurcated till now 
the main issue is like it it is a political and uh, cultural issue sir the for example i can uh, take the example of uh, singareni calories in that mines are belong to the telangana but uh, some of the engineering uh, buildings engineering uh, infrastructure is belong to andhra pradesh but they have they have taken telangana government taken adman position in order to shift that uh, uh, engineering structures to the andhra so there are these little or there are such issues causing the the sharing of these assets these causing the major issues and also the, there should be a political dialogue and uh, there should be uh, talks between the leaders in amicable environment in, in order to resolve these issues so tell me how mathematics can be brought under daily use sir mathematics are we are using uh, consciously unconsciously we are daily using mathematics for example if you are not to uh, if i am coming from a area nearby india gate so in order to estimate the distance to this place i am uh, we, we have to use mathematics and also the uh, we if you uh, put fuel into your automobile so then also you will measure the liters of uh, quantity and also the amount we have to pay so these are all small things we are using on a daily basis and these has a mathematics has a very huge applications while coming to the technology and uh, in the research field there are many applications of math so tell me how romans managed their number system without zero uh, no sir i am not aware okay can you share any famous works of uh, famous mathematician ramanujan sir he has given uh, is this is in number system and also the series sir uh, but i am not exactly okay recalling that okay uh, so my last question is wilson why you wish to join civil services sir as i belong to the rural area my and uh, my former is an agriculturist and i am still uh, helping him in agriculture and i, I also studied in a government school in my village and i also seen the health sector so i have seen many ground realities in the rural india so i want to change those difficulties the people are facing and uh, i want to contribute my knowledge and also experience to the uh, development arena so that i can bring a real change at the ground level so don't you think uh, coming into politics will help you address these problems in much better way sir uh, politics also helpful in uh, uh, changing this, that scenario but i think i am more suitable for a civil servant because i want to choose this uh, as my career options and so there is a what if you are, career okay. career what if you are posted in postal services or revenue services sir then you won't be able to address these yes. issues sir other other services also contributing to the development of the country for example if you take revenue they are uh, helping in getting the more revenue so that that revenue can be useful for the benefit of the people yeah, thank you thank you sir